After eight months of this pandemic, do you still have hope in your heart? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Marco was struggling to hold back tears as he gazed into the horizon from the second floor of their 65 square meter apartment. He had just been laid off as an administrative supervisor in Makati City. His wife Lila was pregnant with their third child and she tended to her mother who stays with them as she was the only child. Her mother was on dialysis and Lila accompanies her to her regular visits to the clinic. Bills were due again and he could not depend on his relatives who were not that well off either. He became the breadwinner of his family after his father died from a motorcycle accident while he was still a college student. As a student, he was very diligent and garnered honors and was active in church as a member of the choir and the youth group. Marco and Lila are also members of the Couples for Christ community, invited by their couple friend four years ago when Marco celebrated his 40th birthday. They are household members and regularly attend their household and chapter assemblies. This pandemic brought much difficulty to many, including them. While he was broke, he was not broken. He knew that God has allowed this to happen to him for a good reason and his prayer to God was for deliverance. He was hopeful that this too shall pass. Better days are ahead. He is grateful that he and his wife joined this religious community for were it not for it, he would not know how to cope with this. He could have been in an asylum now, or perhaps he could have taken his life, he mused. He emerged from the balcony with plans and a renewed hope that the morrow will be better in God's grace. Today's first reading shows the Lord holding a banquet on His holy mountain. The banquet is the Lord's way to reward those who trust Him to bring them out of their tribulations. In the Gospel reading, People came in droves to be healed. Jesus performs his miracle of multiplying the seven loaves and a few fish to feed the multitude. Seven is a perfect number to symbolize the Lord's will of perfection for anyone who trusts him. The Lord is telling us to trust him completely. Those who came with him to the mountain were sick and had difficulty ascending the sometimes steep terrain. Jesus was moved with compassion for the faith they displayed. For three days, they persevered to walk with Him, and in those three days, they had gone hungry. But their hearts were full because they knew that for certain, they will not be disappointed. Jesus was their only hope. Jesus will not fail them. God has signified to us in the daily circumstances of our lives the parallels we can draw on as we make the choice between having faith and hope or staying miserable and hopeless. A clay pot needs to be baked in the furnace to become elegant porcelain. A butterfly has to struggle from its cocoon to be able to emerge beautiful and free. Diamonds are shaped by the extreme pressures of the earth, and gold, tested by fire, becomes pure. Whatever problem or difficulty you may be experiencing right now, be it in family, career, business, health, relationships, be led by the example of those who have journeyed with Jesus to the mountaintop in their affliction. We may be carrying heavy burdens and facing seemingly insurmountable odds. We may not see much light at the end of the tunnel. We may not know what the future holds. But we know for certain that He can help us carry our burdens. He is the light and the way, and He holds our future. If we stay the course, we will not only be healed and delivered, but we will be given seven more baskets of God's generosity in our lives. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, nourish me with the true bread of heaven in my need, in my hunger, and in my longing for you. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.